How are we doing, guys? Moose here, episode 67 of our West Ham United career mode, and it is the award ceremony time. Obviously, it's been a few days since we uploaded. Easter came and went, so if you did celebrate Easter, I hope you had a very happy Easter. If not, then I hope you had a nice weekend, so uh, to, to each his own, but obviously, we will have our award ceremony. I'd love to get 10 likes on this video, because if I do, I will get the first episode of season 3 up, episode 68, as soon as uh, we do hit that target, so that'd be fantastic. But we're going to get straight into the awards. That's what we're going to be covering here. Most improved on the season, it has to be Andy Carroll. I don't think there's any question about it. He scored 23 goals this season and nine ass and also contributed nine assists. Uh, he was fantastic. He had 22 points in the Moose's Mighty Hammer poll, which you can see what we had to pick him for most improved because Compared to last season, he's doubled his goal output, which was huge for us after losing Zarate, having Valencia having a bit of a down year. Sacco was really a non-factor, to be honest. Wickham, after coming in for a nominal fee, he only came in for $3.5 million, and he's got a great rating on him. But he didn't have a ton of goals himself, did Connor Wickham, whereas Carroll took the season by the horn, scored 11 goals in the Premier League, and was really just fantastic and a real big threat for us both through the air and on the ground he had a couple lovely goals i remember the one goal he scored he put in the top corner against arsenal was beautiful and for that he is our most improved player of the season our next award though the unsung hero award it's a guy who doesn't get a lot of plaudits but he just does his job day in and day out and is a huge help to the team and if we didn't have him it'd be a big big impact and that's carl jenkinson he completed 83 percent of his passes for the season he had 42 appearances could have been even higher if it weren't for the fact that he did miss a few games through injury. He was injured on two separate occasions with ankle injuries, but he completed 13 crosses. He had 641 dribbles completed, uh, 91 tackles he won, which was fantastic, one of the best on the team. Uh, Cheku Kiate was actually the leader on the team, and he did have 17 Moose's Mighty Hammer points. So a really solid season from Jenkinson. That's why he is our unsung hero. Uh, if you're wondering about the stats, I can't actually show you the stats if you, you would ever want to see them because I actually – kept the track of the stats after every game in an Excel spreadsheet, every game for every player, uh, and had a, a compilation, actually. So I have every single player's total stats in terms of every stat that FIFA tracks for the entire season kept track of. So if you are interested in seeing that, uh, let me know. Our next award is actually an award you don't really want to win. If you were having an award ceremony, you wouldn't have this award. But it's the biggest flop, and it's really the guy who disappointed me the most this season, and that was Matthew Jarvis. 26 appearances, all he contributed was a goal and two assists. The real number that hurts is his passing was down, only 79.7%, one of the lower numbers on the team, but his crosses. He only completed 11 of 25 crosses. He didn't get to the byline a ton. Didn't have a real great impact on the game, which is disappointing for a guy with such good crossing stats, such good pace, uh, and really a high overall. So he had a lot of green stats, a lot of solid stats, but he just didn't really impact the team very much for me. It was disappointing. It was his 6.58 average rating. It was one of the worst actually on the team. I don't know if I mentioned Jenkinson's rating, but he had a uh, lovely rating for the season. 6.9875 it was fantastic. One of the best on the team. Uh, Carroll to mention for him was 6.94 rating. Paolo Dybala wins the award for best transfer. And obviously this could have went to a number of players. Uh, Oxley chamberlain was a fantastic transfer, and Kugel on a free transfer, but Paolo Duvall was the player that came in, and you'll remember, he carried us in a couple of games. Hat-tricks against Manchester City, hat-trick again uh, against, I think it was Hull City, maybe, where he had the hat-trick and won the game for us, a 3-2. Uh, no, it was Fulham, excuse me. Fulham, he had th all three goals. We had one episode where he actually scored all of our goals in the entire episode, five goals in two games. Uh, and we won, I think, 3-2 two and 2-0. Two, two so he really was dominant when he came in. He had 13 goals and 18 appearances. What a return from DeBall. 7.39 average rating. 85% of his passes he's completed. Uh, he got 18 Mooses Mighty Hammer points in just half a season, which is absurd. Completed a ton of dribbles. Showed off some lovely skill and really... Huge transfer and a huge player going in the next season. And now, what you guys voted on. You can see in the standings, it was tight. But as I took the poll today, Aaron Cresswell wins his second goal of the season award. Uh, picking up just enough votes to outdo Oxley chamberlains lovely roulette goal against Hull City. Also notable getting a few votes were Keontae's screamer against Reading. Delft's lovely volley against Crystal Palace. And... Uh, one vote for Dybala's sublime volley against Manchester City that actually happened in this same game that he did get a hat-trick in. So, beautiful goal, though, from Cresswell. You take a look. It was one of those ones that I kind of looked over and was like, well, 
Should I cross into the box? I don't know, but I'm going to hit it from range 35 or 36 yards out, and he just levers it into the top right-hand corner. Nothing Joe Hart could do. It was hit with so much power. Uh, maybe not directly into the corner, but with the way free kicks work this year, it was going in the back, and it was an absolute beauty, a perler from Aaron Cresswell. And that is his second goal of the season. Gareth Cresswell, of course, he had that one against Everton that won last year, so congrats to Aaron. And now the award we've all been waiting for, Moose's Mighty Hammer, our player of the season, as voted on by my man of the match point awardings. It's Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Couldn't be anyone else. He had 10 goals and 10 assists in 42 appearances. He was unbelievable for the team. Did so much work both offensively and defensively. His average rating on the season was 7.34, which I think might have been the best on the team. Let me take a look. I'm actually looking at it behind. It was third best behind Cresswell and uh, Dybala. But what a season he had. 37 shots on target, so he was scoring at a very good rate. Completed 80% of his passes. 720 completed dribbles. That was second, just behind Cresswell. Completed 25 crosses as well. Won 102 tackles, so he really did the business defensively. And he did pick up 37 Moose's Mighty Hammer points as well on the season. So unbelievable performance from Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and a well-deserved player of the season. Awarded him something that we hope continues for the rest of his career with the club. Uh, and you can take a look at the final standings. You can see Downing, second in the voting with 31 points. Cheku Kiyonte, who was far down the voting uh, earlier in the season, comes up and finishes in third with 29 points. Cresswell, fourth with 26. Fabian Delft, fifth with 25 Noble, 23. Adrian, 23. Carroll, 22. Dybala, 18. Jenkins, and 17. Kevin Nolan, another solid season. As I said, he had a bit of a resurgence this year with 15 Moose Money Hammer votes. To reflect that, he did really, really well. So overall, it was a great season. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And like I said, if we do get the 10 likes, we're going to be into Season 3, which is what we've been all waiting for. So thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you want to keep watching. This is Season 3. I really appreciate uh, if you gave me some feedback, what you thought, uh, and what you're looking forward to here as we move on. So thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you have enjoyed it, and we'll, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.